Good morning all of you. We are starting with our C++ sessions. To start with C++, we have the question why we need C++ programs or why we need a programming language like C++. Okay. The first question is why C++. Before discussing about why C++, we have to know what are the limitations of C programming language. We can try to figure out some of the limitations of C programming language, then we can slowly start C++ program. Okay. What is this? This is my car. I am parking my car at roadside. Okay. What is the speciality of this roadside? Many people have access to my car. I am parking my car such a way that many people have access to my car. So how I am calling? I am parking my car in a global area. Now someone is coming and he scratched my car. Assume one truck came and hit, hit my car. This is what is known as global data insecurity. Whenever you have a data, whenever you are keeping a data in a common or global area, such a way that many people have the access. So there is a chance of corruption of your data. Whenever you are keeping a data in a global area, there is a chance for manipulating or there is a chance for getting corrupted your data. This is what is known as global data insecurity. This is one of the limitation of C programming language. What I mean limitation is, it is difficult to implement in C programming language or which is time consuming process in C programming language. Now we can write some small program. <coughs> Assume I am going to write a program for a washing machine. We can have many modules in washing machine. For example, we have some modules. First module is control. For controlling the functionalities of all this washing machine, I am going to write a module which is known as control.c. Okay. For this control.c, I have a variable that is known as voltage. Assume I have one more module that is wash.c. Assume I have one more module that is pin.c. Okay. My intention is I am writing a washing machine program so that I have many modules. I have one variable specific to this module. But since I am keeping this variable as a global variable, there is a chance of accidental manipulation of this data. For example, in this module, someone is using voltage is equal to some 5000. There is an accidental manipulation of this data which is possible in C programming language. That is what is known as global data insecurity. This is one of the major limitations of C programming language. Now we can try, and out, try to find out if there is any other limitation for C program. Assume I have a company. For a company there could be many number of employees, right? I am writing some program for calculating the salary of an employee. For that I have a salary variable. Now there may be a number of components for this salary, right? There may be TA, DA or many components for this salary. Assume I have some function set 
TA function. I have one more function that is set TA. Now one function for calculating the final salary. I am writing it as card salary. Assume I have some different function that is set employee. I want to design a scenario such a way that this variable is only specific to these functions. I want this variable should not be used by this function. That is not possible in C programming language. This is known as unrelated functions in data. I want a scenario such a way that this data or this variable is only specific to this function. This function should not use this data. That is not possible in C programming language. Something I am telling not possible does not mean that it is not at all possible. That means it is very difficult to implement or it is time consuming process. That means second one is unrelated functions and data. Unrelated functions and data means I cannot design a system such a way that this data is only specific to this function. That is not possible in C programming language. This is known as unrelated functions and data. Due to these two major disadvantages or due to these major limitations, it is very difficult to maintain a complex or big C programs. That is why we are shifting from C programming language to C++. This is the end of my first session. This you can uh, watch this channel. The name of my channel is Take It. Thank you.